Hi, I'm making a video, <coughs> my rendition of a balanced microphone preamplifier using an XLR jack such as this, an XLR jack. Um, this is pin 1, this is pin 2, and this is pin 3. Pin 2 is hot. Pin 3 is cold, pin 1 is ground. Pin 1 is ground, pin 3 is cold, pin 2 is hot. <coughs> this is the schematic I made up of the um, microphone preamplifier, the balanced microphone preamplifier. Um, with some help on the internet, <coughs> um, I had to copy some circuit examples, change the values a little. Um, This is the power source for the, fan, the phantom power source, which could be around 12 volts DC. This 470 microfarads capacitor filters out the ripple that's going in here, or the V plus. In the same connection, V plus number 8, pin 8, and V plus is the same. 10K resistor to the base and the collector of the 2N3904 transistor and this should filter out the DC so you have a smooth DC coming out here for the phantom power up here. It here would be connected to here and um, this is the front view of the female jack, XLR jack this is 4.7k ohms, this is 1k ohms, this is 1k ohms, this is 470,000 ohms, this is 27,000 ohms, this is 10 UF, 10 microfarads, this is 470,000 ohms, this is the LF353 dual bifet operational amplifier. I am currently using one channel of it right now. And this is a 10 UF DC blocking capacitor for the output. Maybe this should be non-polarized because at pin 1 there would be 0 volts with no signal. Uh, I don't have, I do have a non-polarized capacitor but I don't know if I put it in or not. Um, they're saying that both pin 2 and 3 on the internet should have phantom power 2 and 3 but I don't believe that's true I think they're trying to change the theory and they're lying I think pin 3 which is cold should not have phantom power only pin 2 which is hot should have phantom power pin 2 <coughs> um, other things are saying that that pin 2 and 3 may be reversed in European countries. I don't know. That would that would um, make me think about both pin 2 and 3 having phantom power, but if both pin 2 and 3 had phantom power, that would not power the condenser mic because there would be zero volt difference. Zero volt difference if both pin 2 and 3 had phantom power. Okay. Um, I think you should try this out if you like to build it. I don't know if it would be difficult for you all to build it. But, um, I mean, you, you'll have to understand schematics. It's not too complex, I guess. These are resistors. These. These zigzags resistors 27k over here did I mention this one 27k 27,000 ohms I don't think this 27,000 ohms may be necessary but 
this is what I saw on the internet. Um, okay, so this is 10K. I did mention this from collector to base and from base to ground is 470 microfarads and I'm thinking it should provide good filtering so that there's no hum going into the microphone. There can't be any hum going into the microphone, you know, like a condenser or uh, or um, dynamic. And if you do have it powered with phantom power, I think it should be safe to plug in a dynamic microphone here on the XLR female jack. It should be safe because the dynamic microphone will be using pin 2 and 3. Pin 1 would be ground, pin 2 and 3 would be the coil, the voice coil of the dynamic microphone. And with DC applied to one end of the coil, I don't think there would be a problem, you know, with the phantom power applied to pin 2. I don't think there should be a problem with the amplification. I think it'll be a fun project, hobbyists, engineers. Why don't you uh, try it? Um, hmm. This 2N3904 transistor is an NPN bipolar transistor. Um, this is supposed to filter the DC coming in. What's going to pin 8? This would, I should put 8 over here? I don't know. Um, is that it? The LF353 is being used here. Dual bifed op amp. Um, that's it, right? I think that's it. I'm wondering how hard you all think it is to build this. Is it that hard? I mean, I'm used to electronics. Those of you who are new might find this complicated. You know? This is an 8-pin IC. It has two amplifiers in it, the LF353. You could, you should put it in a socket on a breadboard, a circuit board. I don't know if you want to build a printed circuit board or use one of those breadboards with copper contacts on them. That would be sort of messy, I think, but if you could build a circuit board and and you're able to work with a, the small tolerance of pins of the IC socket, Maybe you can build a circuit board. But the hardest thing would be to build a, to make the, the um, the design on the circuit board for the eight pin IC. That would be like uh, complicated. It's hard for me, cause the the pins are so small and close together. I hope you enjoyed this project. If there's something I missed. Please leave it on the comments below. I believe this should work, although there is disbelief because I think they're really trying to manipulate the theory <coughs> to change the physical qu qualities. You know? I think that's what they're trying to do on the internet. It, they show it as truth. They make you think they're showing you the truth. This is wrong. Have a good evening, a good morning, wherever you are in this world. I hope there's peace and joy and love.